What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you kind of a short quick tip video on how you can use object crypto mats to create a very basic mat in your compositing process. I'm going to be doing this kind of as a continuation of our last tutorial where I showed you how you can add a very basic wet map to your live action shot. I'm just going to be continuing this process from the end of that video, sort of showing how we can composite a reflection of our character here only in the mat data from our wet map here. So I'm just going to be creating that reflection and then you using the crypto mat data that we're going to output to make sure that that reflection only shows up in this area. But anyways, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do in order to use crypto mats is go to your view layer properties tab here and you're going to want to just scroll down here in your passes tab and at the very bottom you'll find crypto mat and you can use a variety of crypto mat data for this specific tutorial. We're going to be using the most basic form and that is the object crypto mat. And as you can see here, if you select this checkbox for the object crypto mat, it will render a crypto mat object pass for isolating objects in the compositing process. So I'll just go ahead and select that here. And now I'll just go to render and render image and we'll go to our compositing process here in a second. All right, so I'll just close our render result here and go to our compositing tab. And this is the compositing node setup we set up from last time. The first thing we're going to do before we actually utilize the crypto mat is get the data of our character here and flip it so that it will be the perspective of the reflection. And if you remember from the last video, what I've done is I've used a character mask on this last alpha over node to uh, overlay just the character's portion of the footage on top of our reflection so that our reflection wouldn't show up in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this mask data that's on our live action shot and we're going to just flip it with some transform nodes so what i'll do is i'll duplicate our alpha over node really quick add it to the end of our composite here connect it to our composite tab then i'll press shift a i'll add a distort flip and I'll connect this to our alpha over node and I'll add this right here. And as you can see here, it's flipping our mask data for our character on the X axis, but we want to flip it on the Y axis so it's like a reflection. So what I'll do is I'll just switch this to Y. Now, as you can see here, it's flipped on the Y axis and we want to bring it down so it's the position where a reflection would be. So I'll just move these over here and uh, right after the flip node, I will press shift A, I'll add a distort transform and then I'll just use the Y values and start bringing down this element until we get to the right position here. All right, so something like this is pretty good. Now it's time to use the crypto mat data from our uh, ground plane here that has our reflection data on it to isolate the portion of our character here that we want showing through the reflection. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll add a set alpha node right before our reflection mat goes to our last alpha over node. So I'll press shift A, I'll add a converter set alpha. And this is the uh, node we can use to apply different masks. And crypto mat is uh, pretty much a mask. It's just one that you don't have to do manually. And now what we can do is we can press shift A. I'll add a mat and then crypto mat here. You can also use the crypto mat legacy, but uh, this one I think is going to be discontinued. So I'll just use the crypto mat node here. And now what I'm going to do is I'll connect the mat data to the alpha input for our set alpha node. And uh, as you can see, it disappears right off the bat. And that's because we have to choose our mat ID here. So so what we can do is we can look at our top right here in our scene data and the object map we want to use is from our ground uh, reflection object here. So what we'll do is we'll just under mat ID, we'll type ground and enter that. And now as you can see, our map is sort of working. The reason the reflection of our character is also showing up below our reflection here is just because the alpha channel isn't totally clear at this portion. So what we can do to increase the effect of this uh, mat is we can just press shift A. I'll add a RGB curves node right after our crypto mat data. And then I'll just crunch down the shadows a bit. And now as you can see here, we're isolating this data a bit more effectively. And that is the most basic way you can use some crypto mat data. Um, lots more you can do with this obviously, but uh, this is just a really powerful and simple technique. Obviously the mask isn't perfect here for our reflection. So we should uh, probably clean that up in our masking tab, but uh, this is the general concept. One thing you might do to bring the reflection into the scene a bit better is just maybe add a uh, very basic blur node here. I would just make it bokeh blur, increase the X and Y values maybe to seven. And now it's just bringing that reflection into the scene a bit better. But uh, anyways, guys, I just thought I'd share that quick tip with you today. I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next and I'll see you next time.